Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at complex fractions, simplifying complex fractions without variables, problem type one. Uh, a couple of different ways you can simplify this. Uh, one way would be to rewrite it as multiplication. The other way would be to look at, uh, first of all, what is a complex fraction? Well, complex fraction would include a fraction or fractions within the main fraction. So we have eight over seven, six. So we have this seven, six, that's another fraction within the main fraction of eight over whatever. Uh, so one way to simplify complex fraction is to look at your, find your common denominator of your small fractions, your inner fractions, which the only one we have is seven, six, seven over six here, and multiply the top and bottom or multiply everything in the complex fraction by that common denominator. So if I multiply these by six, then uh, six times eight in my numerator is 48. Six times seven, six in my denominator, remember that's understood to be over one, those sixes would cancel out. And I'm left with one times seven is seven, so 48 over seven. So you can simplify that by finding, looking at your inner or your small fractions, finding the common denominator of the small fractions and multiplying everything by that particular number. All right, let's look at another one. All right, so here we have two over nine and six over seven. Um, so common denominator, we're looking at two ninths and six sevens, looking at nine and seven. So the common denominator for nine and seven, what's that, 63. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 63 because that's the common denominator for 9 and 7. And what that does, that will eliminate those small fractions. So 9 will go into 63 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 will go into 63 9 times. 9 times 6 is 54. So 14 over 54, uh, looks like I can simplify that a little bit more, divide both of those by two. They have a common factor of two, so I can divide each one of those by two, get seven over 27. Now, the other way that you can do this is to use your division of fraction rule and rewrite this in multiplication, form of multiplication, two thirds, times the reciprocal of that bottom fraction, 7, 6, uh, which gives you 14 over, I'm sorry, not 2 thirds, 2 ninths. So 14 over 54, which simplifies again, dividing both of those by 2 to 7 over 27. So two ninths over six sevenths, rewrite it as multiplication, and then simplify. So either way works. Uh, we will use this method here some more when we start including some variables and binomials and other stuff within the complex fraction. So either way works, just make sure you practice. Alrighty, good people, I hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.